Dr. Osumi, yeah. it is an absolute honor and privilege to be able to sit here with you. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me. I know how busy your schedule is and you have a large laboratory with many people working and so many of your researchers have their own autophagy laboratories mm -hmm. today. So again, thank you very much for having me. Thank you. I wanted to ask you a number of questions, but yeah. I wanted to begin when you were a little boy. I've read that uh, as a child, you mm -hmm. were malnourished mm -hmm. and uh, you struggled in your early years to get the nourishment that you needed. Oh, yeah, because I was born in 1945. That was a, uh, World War II it was over before half years before I the end of the World War Two. So in Japan it was really hard time to get uh, enough food. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately my mother uh, got the tuberculosis yeah. T B and she should stay in bed for mm -hmm. a long time. Mm -hmm. And so it was a really hard time to uh, get uh, enough food. Hope, but in that uh, at that time, uh, almost all people are poor in Japan. Right. So, it, it, so of course it was a difficult time. But uh, so everyone overcome those kind of but, yeah time, yeah. Overcoming that at such a young age, uh, you dreamt of maybe being a scientist. Did you know about the Nobel Prize at that <laughs> yes, time? Uh, yes, you did, uh, no, right? I, I, I know, but I didn't Im image anything that, that kind of thing. But yeah, I was not so uh, healthy boy. And so my dream was become a scientist when I was really uh, uh, elementary school, probably. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because my father was, uh, 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 was working in uh, Kyushu University. Mm -hmm. So it's not so far from uh, university side. So I want to be a uh, scientist in the future. So you, your mind, was able to sort of think about things in a different way mm. than other scientists. Mm. And and that creativity, mm. along with the science mm. together, really brought this about. Mm. And, in, and in 1988, you began your study of autophagy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, one point, I do not want to be a competitive field, work on a competitive oh, field. Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, at uh, when I started the vacuo, not so many people interested in the vacuo. Right. That's uh, just a garbage dump in the cell. Many people saw that kind, mm -hmm. but for me, probably might be important organelle, and not so many people working on that subject. Mm -hmm. That was a very in, in, uh, good for me because I'm. I'm not interested in the uh, so competitive and many people working on mm -hmm. just like uh, autophagy field right yes. now. So when I'm a student now, I might not work on autophagy. Right, right. No, it makes it makes sense. You know, when I think about all of the great discoveries yeah. uh, and this understanding in the U.S., we talk a lot about blue ocean. So this idea of a blue ocean where mm. there's nobody else and you mm. have as much room to yeah. create yeah. And, yeah. and come up with new innovations, yeah. new science. So really it sounds to me like you were in your blue ocean mm. and you had that in your mind. Oh. You were looking for that unique mm. opportunity and then had the capability to really think in a contrarian manner perhaps um, mm. and begin the science. I'm very inspired by what you were saying about the amount of science um, from 1998 to 2016. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that. 
But before we go there, mm. if you were to define mm. autophagy yourself in, 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 in today's climate, 2018, mm. December 18th, mm. how would you best define it in your, in your words? Oh, you, okay. Uh, for me, I want to understand how a uh, cell is uh, dynamic and it, uh, actually life is uh, just the equilibrium state of their equilibrium between the synthesis and degradation. Uh, not so many people are interested in uh, degradation because right. yeah, science, uh, synthesis looks uh, positive but degradation a uh, lot of people that uh, some sort of uh, negative uh, passive mm -hmm. process right. and not so many people work on degradation but now we know their life is just a equilibrium state the synthesis and degradation so for me degradation must be equally important than synthesis <laughs> okay mm -hmm. so we sh should know the mechanism and uh, f uh, function of the uh, degradation process. So still we have, uh, we should pile up the uh, mechanism of degradation. So, and uh, also I want to say the uh, degradation is equally important as a synthesis. That means everything, almost every function of the, uh, our body is related to our degradation process mm -hmm. in autophagy. Mm -hmm. So now many people showing autophagy is related to what, uh, many, many things. So for me, probably because of the degradation the autophagy is so fundamental mm -hmm. function of the cell. But so, yeah, for yeah, I'm still working on each small, tiny cell, auto, uh, each cell. Mm -hmm. But we, I, I am always say we know about thirty percent of that total mechanism of autophagy, wow. even in yeast. So Incredible. I still, I stick on the yeast cell. So For 30 to, years, <laughs> you've been yeah, doing this research and yeah, you feel yeah, that there's yeah, about a 30% yeah, understanding. Yeah, 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 if you think about the mammalian cell, that's a more sophisticated and complicated. So probably, nobody will say, 15% uh, of the total mechanism is known about the, the mammalian the yes. autophagy. So autophagy is uh, really uh, not so long, a uh, long history, but we, we are st still quite early stage in the research. Yeah, that's my feeling on the autophagy. You speak about the number of grams of protein that yeah. we ingest yeah. in a day, 70 yeah. or 80, 90 grams, but then the amount that we process. Can you speak about protein synthesis and autophagy? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I always show there one slide. Our body makes 200 and two to 300 grams of protein every day. Okay, we are, but we take 70 to 80 grams of uh, protein from food. Right. So just there are two, just two figures uh, tells us uh, most of the amino acid for new protein synthesis come from the degradation product of our own protein. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, to understand the recycling of their right. protein is so important to understand the cell. That might... It's yeah. very, very interesting because I don't think a lot of people realize mm. 
how much protein our body is actually using on a daily basis yeah. compared to what we're consuming. And so yeah. it goes back to your point about mm. really understanding mm. the process. So, yeah, for me, it's a, still, it's a surprising uh, fact that almost all our body protein is replaced every two or th three months. Mm -hmm. Almost so we looks uh, almost the same after one year, but every two or three months, all our protein are replaced the new protein. That that the way uh, life is maintained. It's beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very beautiful. I. Uh, I, I began writing my book mm. about four years mm. ago uh, while I was learning from Dr. Elizabeth Janda while I was in mm. Calabria, Italy. And uh, three weeks before I was meeting with the publishers, mm. I was over the moon mm. to learn that you had received the honor of the Nobel Prize in medicine mm. uh, for the work that you've done. How did you, I, I'm curious just to know a little bit more did you know leading up to it that you were going to win? Did you receive a phone call in the middle of the night? How did it? How did it go? <laughs> not not Japan. It's not that night. It's uh, evening in, in Japan. Evening yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, these days, uh, uh, many many broadcasts or. TV company or newspaper company come to uh, that day. So it's uh, so many people right. uh, is around me. So almost already three or four years that what kind of the situation happened for me. Mm. So. So it's hard to say, but for me, it's so noisy and so yeah, <laughs> yeah. I understand. yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you were were you expecting that this would happen? Uh, it's hard to say, but several uh, people said you will have. These mm -hmm. two or three years before, yeah. So, of course, I'm not to seriously think about that. Mm -hmm. But it, so, the the situation around me is just like uh, uh, I I said. So, right. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about <laughs> the science yeah. and where it was in 1998. Maybe mm. we can even show the graph. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to show the graph that uh, that we were talking about. Mm. But tell us, so in 1998, when you began your research, mm. how many, how long did it take for the first paper to be published? Yeah, it took three years. Three yeah, years. Yeah, because one, one reason, it, yeah, I want to publish two, paper, uh, two separate papers. That was not a good way. So we should arrange the paper. That one reason it took a long time, but uh, but it took uh, a little bit too long time for me. But it's it's quite usual if you start with some uh, thing new. Thing, something yeah, new yeah. that it would take that time. Mm. And then if we fast forward to 2016, over six or 7,000 papers per mm. year mm. are being published. Mm. And now, certainly after the Nobel Prize in Medicine, mm. it's there's probably so many more that are even yeah. being published. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And so this, this effect of, it's just overwhelming to mm. think about mm. the millions of people now in the world mm -hmm. that are able to benefit mm -hmm. from the work that you began in 1998 or even mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably, as I said, the autophagy or protein degradation is so uh, basic function of the cell. So we 
to understand the cell or, or our body, uh, uh, autophagy oh. must be involved. So, so many things. So, I'm not. Um, uh, it's quite. It's not. Uh, yeah, naturally, we can say uh, autophagy might be related. So many things not to be found. So, the reason that my work was uh, was influenced and that church. Just a finding of autophagy in each cell, tiny cell. Mm -hmm. But that uh, allowed me to dissect the autophagy process. Mm -hmm. That means uh, we could get the uh, autophagy related genes. And fortunately, we could get the almost most important gene at the first screening. And that was uh, very uh, good for us to understand the mechanism of autophagy. And I moved to the you know, uh, NIBB. My colleague started the autophagy genes in mammals and plants. And they sh we showed the autophagy genes are uh, well conserved from yeast to mammals or plants. And that was the uh, most uh, important uh, thing for autophagy field. Before uh, ATG genes, every uh, analysis of autophagy was just a uh, morphological studies by EM. Mm -hmm. And as you know, rhizome is not so easy to uh, analyze biochemically. So biochemistry was very difficult to, uh, still, right now, still right. is very difficult. So once we got the ATG genes, so that change a landscape of uh, autophagy research, you can uh, analyze the autophagy by using uh, ATG genes manipulation, uh, autophagy genes no count, and yeah. So that completely changed the autophagy research all over the world. Mm -hmm. And many people start suddenly started uh, autophagy in various kind of um, organisms and various kind of cell types and tissue organs. So that so it uh, finding discovery of ATG genes was so important um, for that kind of uh, what are you most excited about uh, when you sort of look at these spikes and the mm. important findings mm. around mm. the field, what are you most excited about um, in today's climate as it relates to the field of autophagy and, and, and maybe the uh, applications to, to humans? Uh, sorry. Well, what, what gets you the most excited about the oh, field uh, now mm -hmm. as it relates to our human health? Mm. Yeah. Still okay. Now many people are interested in the uh, uh, autophagy to relate to the various kind of disease mm -hmm. and also the health problem. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that is quite reasonable because uh, our cell is just maintained the uh, as I said, the synthesis and degradation, and the degradation is so important. So, we sh our cell should be uh, maintained, mm -hmm. clear, uh, clean every time. So, 
that that is very important process for our uh, cell. So autophagy is also uh, is one function of autophagy is all uh, just a recycling of amenas. Right. Another important function of autophagy is the elimination of the harmful or uh, unwanted. Uh, material mm -hmm. uh, accumulation in the cell. Right. So those kind of cellular clearance must be very important to understand the health and uh, some sort of diseases. So, so yeah, most probably within, still we don't have a uh, specific uh, medicine to regulate the autophagy, right. but that is a, might be a uh, uh, good way to uh, apply the autophagic research in the uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Do you think that medication, that area will be coming forth sooner than later? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so, mm -hmm. yeah. That's really, that's really good to hear. Well, let's just see. <laughs> I had I had a couple more questions. Mm. I was curious to know um, with the senolytic senolytic uh, therapies. Are you familiar with these therapies at all? Um, oh, yes. Um, um, the senolytic therapies, like it's called with uh, feistin or um, quercetin, basically these therapies. I'm not sure if you're familiar with them, but no problem if you're not. Probably not. Okay, no, no problem. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah. Let me just see. Um, so when we when we see how much research is coming forth, and how you, as one individual, chose to take this this path where other people were not, the millions and millions and millions of lives that uh, will be truly, hopefully transformed mm -hmm. so the cell is healthier and, and lives better mm -hmm. is, is something that is completely and totally humbling. Mm -hmm. And I can say, you know, from, from my point of view, but also from so many others, just such gratitude mm -hmm. and thankfulness to you for, for making that choice. Mm -hmm. it, it's remarkable. And I am so incredibly honored to be sitting across the table from you. Mm, okay, yeah, to, for me, yeah, so, um, oh, what should I say? Yeah. These days, uh, uh, of course, we have many, many serious problems about the food. Some people starve, some people, right. even rich people have their own serious problem with food. So it is very important to uh, handle our own life, just a uh, nutrition condition. So. Mm -hmm. Still, we should learn a lot about the, how our body is working. Still, we, didn't, we have poor uh, information about the, uh, how uh, whole body are organized. And so, right. very important question for me is our, our East cell is quite simple because they live just one cell. Still, we have so many problems to be solved. And our body, cell in our body is so much uh, organized. And so every cell has its own uh, function, a different function. So it is very important to know how those cells are uh, harmonically mm. uh, communicate each other. Mm. 
without so autophagy all every cell has a autophagy function so but the problem is uh, just the enhancement of the autophagy will uh, enhance all cells autophagy that might have the mm -hmm. problem mm -hmm. so we need to understand how cells are communicating and how a, a different cell has different function and the Finally, we need to uh, manipulate the autophagy in every uh, type of cell. That might be important for medical application. Right. So some uh, simply uh, autophagy, uh, inhibition of autophagy might not be help the health because uh, some uh, cells are required autophagy, some cells are, should enhance autophagy. Mm -hmm. So still we need more uh, works on the, uh, how autophagy is regulated in every cell type at the same time. That my uh, future hope to understand the mechanism of autophagy in our body. Very, very interesting. So. The questions that you ask yourself yeah. around your area, your life's work, mm -hmm. are um, tied to, like you said, what your hope is and what it, what is what is your dream? What is your dream <laughs> around your work? Okay, yeah, uh, I, I'm uh, I'm already quite old, so I. Don't know how long I will continue my work. Mm -hmm. So my present, my hope is I want to have a really good uh, uh, quantitative uh, method to uh, measure the autophagic activity. And uh, we need to have a good method to what is degraded how much and how and how much extent uh, autophagy degrade uh, every uh, component in the cell. So, yeah, we uh, I want to have a biochemical uh, system, uh, analytical method to uh, uh, mm. show those kind of things. Just using each cell that will help to uh, improve the uh, some analytical method in our body in autophagy that's my dream at this moment yeah that's beautiful mm -hmm.